Hello YouTube, Jarbricks here with another update. So um, this has been my latest project, the Elevated Train Network. Uh, as you can see, I've made it on um, roller coaster track and it just bends right round and ends about there. So I need to put another station at that end. I'm not sure whether to put it near the hospital I've created a space there to possibly put it there or to extend it and put it next to the museum over there. I haven't quite decided that yet, um, but I've finished this one. So really pleased with the way it went. I, I like the, the um, train symbol. It's um, a round tile uh, with just two arrow stickers from the Lego sticker pack just to make that symbol on there, which I thought looked quite nice. Uh, used a lot of those um, grid tiles as well, and uh, up to the sides to make the walls. But let me show you from the other side. And here it is. Lots of people waiting for the train to stop. And a few um, posters at the side, a few adverts for films uh, with the uh, rainproof roof. I didn't want to put too much of a roof on it because I wanted to be able to see it from all angles. It doesn't rain much in the loft here anyway. Uh, well, I wanted to put this little poster from Friends with Joey for the uh, Wishy Barn, whatever it's called. But um, I'm going to put that in the other station on the other end of the track when I eventually do. Under here, I've just put the uh, another little coffee booth. There's one of those. Uh, where is it? Under there as well. Which you saw from the other side. We've got some people leaving the station and some individuals are running late. And then just going up the track now. So making this from um, the roller coaster cart. So it's just that blue section there. And uh, got the idea from um, doing the rocket, space rocket set. It came with two and a bit of track. And um, so I bought a few more just to uh, trial it. And although it's not motorized, it does actually fly. Well, let me show you. It just keeps going. Uh, possibly this house is unlevel, but you know, it just keeps going, which uh, is fantastic. Just to grab it back round again from this side. doesn't quite go all the way like it did the other way but it's still moving now it's decided to stop and then moves into the station quite smoothly it's a little bit tight there sometimes let me see if I can make it happen there you go it just catches every now and then but uh, it works well so I'm pleased with how that's turned out uh, so just going uh, around here, you'll notice there's no vehicles and a pile of people. And like I said in my last update, it just needed a dusting and a cleaning. So all my cars are piled up there and a rocket and all my people. And uh, got a little space here. So one of the changes I've made is the hospital is now here. So I've just moved it and I've moved from Al's uh, Barbers from that corner um, to create a space. And although I did like the Al Barbers set, everybody knows who watches this channel, I don't have any um, modulars from Lego in this set. Everything is my own creation. Uh, so for example, that fire station was the corner garage um and you know just adapted it from there it's got elements of the town hall in there as you can see 
Um, so everything is my own creation. So I have dismantled and gave a lot of it weight actually to my nephew. Um, dismantled some buildings and uh, given some away, which has created two new modulars. So I want to try and get another building there. Um, there's a few sets that I've had recently. I've had the, the boxes right here conveniently. Um, this set, so I want to have an outdoor pursuit uh, shop in the city. And um, oh, I also got the rocket ship, which you know of. Um, and the, uh, what's the other one? The Sesame Street one. So I'm going to use those elements to build some kind of shop, outdoor pursuit shop. Um, and just see how it works out really in the corner there. So I wanted some space and this one, I haven't decided whether, like I said on the other side of the city, whether I want to put the station there or just put a build in there and extend the station. I think I'll need another three straight bits to get down there. I probably will do that and I'll just go down there and put the station that side, make it a little bit smaller than the one on this side, but we'll see how it goes. The hard part with it is because it's um, an elevated station, you haven't got, you don't want to put any of it, any um, stands over the road. So you have to use a lot of kinetic bits to, um, kinetic, technic, sorry, technic bits to um, interlock it uh, so that it can hover pretty much over the top of the road. But that's a problem we'll figure out along the way. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Give us a, a thumbs up if you like the uh, the new train system. I wanted to put a, on this side, I want to put another one of these, but uh, I ran out of pieces to be able to do it. So I didn't. I have got one more carriage to do that in the future, uh, which is over here. I was toying with like with most um, underground and elevated trains, they have a, a flat front because they're not picking up any major speed. So they don't need to have a slopey front for not to create so much wind resistance. Um, but I just thought it looked rubbish. Trying to get it in to make it look realistic within four studs uh, was, was a bit pants. So I decided to go with the slope as it looks better. So this eventually will become the other end of that train as well. So thank you again for watching. And once I've developed this a little further, I'm not sure whether I'm going to focus on the next station or start the modular. I'm not sure yet. I might start the modular just to mix things up a little bit. I don't want to be getting bored. Um, but when I've done something here, first of all, I have to get all of the cars, vehicles, people back on the uh, road as they should be. Um, and all the lampposts all up on the Palace Cinema. When I've done that um, and made some start, I will put a video on. In the meantime, if you want to see the progress of how it's going, uh, please, please feel free to uh, have a look on uh, my Instagram account. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.